start with a look from Chopper 5 high above Union Square in San Francisco. The holiday season is usually a cause for celebration for retailers, but this year there's a whole lot of anxiety. Video from just a little while ago showing some closed storefronts in the area. Another major store in Union Square, DSW, is closing up shop, only adding to a perception that many in the city would like to see change. KPI X5's Max Darrow joins us live in Union Square to explain all this. Max? It's hard to miss the empty storefronts when walking around Union Square, DSW adding to the list. But the new executive director of the business district here hopes to help change the image. I didn't realize they were closing. San Francisco's Union Square is losing another major retailer, DSW. Things that I used to know that were here, they're not here anymore. The latest business in the neighborhood to close up shop for good. It's a lot sadder than it was before COVID. Is that a tough blow? You know, um, it is always disappointing when a cornerstone of um, our community has to shut down. I understand they're shutting down more than just their location here in San Francisco. We took a walk through Union Square with Marissa Rodriguez. She's the new executive director for the Union Square Alliance, formerly known as the Business Improvement District. I took over actually three weeks ago. She agreed. Union Square has a problem with perception. She mainly points to the pandemic and the toll it took on tourism and the retail industry, but says nevertheless the Alliance is working on fixing Union Square's image. That perception will soon be, be gone. The Christmas tree and ice skating rink are back in place once again. You know, unlike last year, when everything was shut down, it's open. And as some businesses leave, others are moving in. The watch store Omega just opened up on Geary, and Rodriguez says there are nine upcoming openings and reopenings they're looking forward to. These range from restaurants, wine bars, um, retail establishments. Um, we even have a mattress store coming. The perception won't change overnight, but Rodriguez thinks it will as people venture back out into the world. I think they're going to come down here and be surprised to see just how activated, how beautiful, really actually, most importantly, how clean and safe. Max, I remember, you know, live music being kind of part of the magic during the holiday season down in Union Square. Will live entertainment be coming back anytime soon? So after the holiday season concludes in a couple of weeks, I'm told that live entertainment will be coming back here to Union Square, something the new executive director hopes will be beneficial for the neighborhood. Liz and Allen? All right, let's hope so. All right, Max, thank you.